Welcome back to our let's play of Inherit the Earth, the quest for the orb. Last time when we left off, we were just, or we had just to talked to a ram, which, who was pretty pissed with us because he thinks we are the ones responsible that the fair has been cancelled. I mean, everyone believes that we're the thief, right? And we're sending next, so we were talking to him next to this nice little, well, Basically, she's as tall as we are, I think. So this this nice-looking ferret lady, whom we're now going to talk to. Excuse me, my good lady, but my companions and I are in search of the Orb of Storms. The Orb? Go on! Well, of course, the first question is, what did you do last night, right? Perhaps you could tell us where you were evening last. I was in my wagon, preparing my sculptures for today's sale. They are quite beautiful, are they not? Is there anyone who could vouch for your whereabouts? I'm afraid not. No one saw me from early yesterday evening until today. So, no alibi also. I have a feeling that this will be the case for basically everyone we ask. Can you tell me who might have stolen the orb? Someone very clever. I understand the orbs are heavily guarded. In order for someone to steal one, he would have to be very clever indeed. Or be someone that even the guards would not suspect. What would you do with such an orb if you had it in your possession? I'd try to take it apart. Find out how it worked. What a feat of engineering. What skill that would take. Typically for the ferrets in this world, because they're basically the craftsmen, or in that case, a craftswoman. What do you know of these orbs? I know they contain the secrets of nature itself. I do not understand how they work. It has been my fondest wish to be able to take one apart and look inside for myself. Perhaps someday. Perhaps someday, but first I need to find the orb. Do you have any advice to help us on our quest? I cannot help you find the orb, but once you do, I suggest you learn all you can about it. Then bring your knowledge to me, and I'll see if I can make another. Together, we could become very rich. Ooh, making another orb. This would also solve some problems, right? I mean, it means that the boars wouldn't need to try to steal it anymore. Thank you for your time, friend Ferret. I must be off. Don't forget what I said. I will anxiously await your return. So let's see who else we can find. Excuse me, my good woman, but could I trouble you long enough to ask you a few questions? Oh, very well. Ask your questions, but make them brief. Riff sure is a very nice guy. Where were you last night, just after dusk? Where I was and what I was doing is none of your business. Do you have any suspicions as to who may have stolen the Orb of Storms? There are plenty around here who would be mean enough to do it. I wouldn't put it past any of them. Can you suggest why someone might have stolen the Orb? Because people are mean. They're just plain mean. The minute you get anything nice, someone is going to come along and steal it from you. It's always been that way, and that's the way it will always be. Oh, isn't she a good-natured woman? Do you have any information about the stolen orb? Now, do I look like the type of person who would have information about those silly orbs? Seems that people have placed so much importance on these orbs, they've forgotten how to do anything for themselves. Know what I mean? Oh, that's interesting. So it seems that their society there relies heavily on those orbs, which, as we learned last episode, contains lots of knowledge from the humans. And nobody knows how they work, but they are somehow connected to, to connected together to a um, like a universal mind thinking for them. Could you offer me any advice on my search? The only advice I have is not to take any advice from anybody. They don't know what they're talking about. They'll just try to steal from you, or cheat you, or get whatever you've got. People are like that. Yes, ma'am. 
Well, I must be off. Thank you so much for your time and wisdom, my good woman. It has truly been a pleasure talking to you. Well, uh, thank you, young man. It was nice to talk to you, too. Such a polite young man. Good luck to you and your companions. Just you be careful. There's so much meanness out there, you know. Yes, ma'am. Fare you well. Indeed, Riff is a very nice young man. Very polite. What is here? Oh, look. A money changer. Let's see what they have to say. Good day to you. Friend Mole, I was wondering. If I can exchange your currency, what would be your pleasure? We have very little money. Can you help us? That depends on what you have of value. <laughs> Nothing. Except my silver medallion. Ah, silver. I'll give you 20 credits for it. My medallion is not for sale. 20 credits is the best I can do. Take it or leave it. You don't understand. A friend once told me that I should be proud of this medallion. It is for her that I wear it. Very well, my sentimental young friend. I know for a fact that he will get very... I would call it cocky if we're just asking about the orb. So I'm going to sell him the medal first and we need the money anyway, so... I have decided to take you up on your offer. And what offer is that? You offered to buy my medallion. But you said you weren't going to sell it for the sake of your girlfriend. It is for her sake that I now sell it. <laughs> may I see the medallion? Indeed you may. It is pure silver. So I see. Very nice, indeed. I will give you 15 credits for it. 15 credits? You said you would give me 20 when I asked before. That was before. It has gone from a seller's market to a buyer's market. Fifteen is my final offer. Take it or leave it. Why, you? Keep him away from me, or you shall get nothing. Patience, friend Doc. We cannot harm him. This is no more than highway robbery. It is only the law <laughs> of supply and demand. And in this case, I have the supply, and you have the demand. Now come. Let us either strike a bargain or be on your way. It is a poor bargain at best, but one I am forced to accept. Very well, I accept your terms. But Riff! We have no more time for arguments, friend Doc. We must do what we must do. There you are, young fox. Count it if you wish. Do come again, won't you? I look forward to our next transaction. So now I'm curious if he would be more helpful talking about the orb. I doubt it because I doubt that they recorded two different lines for the conversations. We are seeking information. We are investigating the disappearance of the orb of storms. So, you are the ones who have ruined the fair. Be gone. I have nothing to say to you. Then you have no knowledge of the orb's disappearance? I have no knowledge of anything. Now leave me alone. Have you noticed any large amounts of money changing hands of late? No, and if I had, I wouldn't tell you. The only hands I care about are mine. And since there is no money to be changed here, I'll bid you adieu. Adieu! <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> I see I will have to try a different approach with this one. It seems that of all the people at this fair, you are the one who would have the most to gain by the theft of the orb. I? What would I have to gain? A thing of such value would surely bring a good price. And a money changer would be the first to whom the thief would go to ransom the prize. Tell us what you know or we will turn you over to the authorities. You can do nothing. You have no evidence. You have no proof. All you have are wild accusations. Now, go away. You waste my time. Fine, then. Goodbye. And don't come back. As I thought. 
there's only one version of the lines. But now we have the money, which we will need later. Whoops. So this is the overall map screen, which we use to switch places or, well, fast, fa fast travel. I need to check where I make the air quotation marks so you can actually see them. Um, so this is the, the fair, fairground where we started. This is uh, the ferret's village. This here is the Sanctuary of the Orb. I, I say we go there next. Then on, up on the hill there's a little house. This is the Castle of the Boars. And right on the opposite there is the woods, the forest. And that's the places that we should visit for now. So I would say as we got the, the, um, the tip, the hint, by one of the people on the fair, we should... Actually, it was the, the fortune teller, right? Yeah, it was the fortune teller who had a crush on us. She said to check out the scene of the crime first. So let's go, let's head out to the sanctuary. Wow, look at the size of those knockers. Indeed. Let us hope those inside are responsive to our inquiries. I don't care as long as they answer our questions. <laughs> Ock, being the strongest, executes the order of knocking. So yeah, as it is with the verb interface, um, this one responds to a right click by um, executing the highlighted verb, which is, which is what you actually want to do. So it's simply a left click, right click thing. Where is my cup? Has anyone seen my cup? Okay, so there is a bunny looking for their cup. I know that this is one of the harder things because um, you can find the cup, which is easy. But there are lots of bunnies here and all look the same. So let me just check out here is the cup. Be careful, Riff. Overlook nothing. That was our friend Ock. It's interesting how quickly he calls him friend when all he did was threaten. It looks like an ordinary cup. Well, then let's pick it up. So I'm going to hold on to it for now. It's locked. Okay, so we can't go in there. I'm not bothering to enter. I'm going to enter one house just to show you the inside, but I'm not bothering to go in there because I'm very sure it's that here. yeah, there is nobody home. I'm very sure that we don't need to to see the insides like from my memory. It's locked. Yeah. Can't go into any any of these. But this door opens and here we are. This is the sanctuary. The temple. What do you want? We seek Elari, matron of the orb. You have found her. Identify yourselves. My name is Riff. These are my companions. Ia, lieutenant of the forest king, and Sergeant Ak of the Boar Guard. We have come to find the Orb of Storms. For what purpose? To return it here. How do I know you're not planning to keep it for yourself? You have my word of honor. And what do I know of your honor? There are rumors that the orb was stolen by a fox. How do I know that you are not the thief himself? There is no evidence of my guilt, only the prejudice of small minds. If I were in possession of the orb, why would I return? Perhaps to see what else you can steal. But I... Enough! The Orb of Storms was in my care and now it is gone. I will not risk further desecration by allowing outsiders to poke their noses around this sanctuary. Leave at once. Wait. 
I represent your great friend, the Forest King. Does that mean nothing to you? Our friendship means a great deal. But how do I know you represent him? Do I not wear the uniform of the Elk Guard? Anyone can wear a uniform. Bring me a token of authority from the king himself, and you shall have my cooperation in conducting your investigation. What shall the token be? The king will know. But our time is short. We have only until the next new moon to return the orb. Then I suggest you make haste. Now go. Go! Return when you have the token. Okay, so while this cat is, um, it's it's annoying that we have to first get that stuff for her, but on the other hand, it is pretty sensible how she reacts. I mean, she, how does she know that she can trust us, right? So let's just get the token to the forest, my good friends. So we could return the cup, actually, but then the bunny says, I have nothing to give to you, and I want to know if it makes a difference if we don't return the cup. Well, there is also the mine where the rats live. I forgot to mention that earlier. Ah, home at last. Every time I stand at this hallowed gate, I am in awe of what lies within. Trees, flowers, streams, fish, an abundance of food. What more could anyone ask? Mine! Of course! The writ of authority will suffice for me. Again, as I said before, in the last episode, I really love the sceneries that they painted in with the pixel graphics. That was me accidentally clicking outside of the game window and moving. There, I fixed it. Your Majesty, we are most grateful for this audience. How may I be of service to you? In our investigation, we sought to explore the Sanctuary of the Orb. We were, however, stopped by Alara, matron of the Sanctuary. Yeah, she won't let us in unless you say so. What the Boar Guard means is that she requires a token of authority before she will grant us admittance. Isn't that what I said? Elara is wise. There is no one more qualified to guard the orb than she. And of all of us who feel its loss, it is she who feels it most deeply. Here, take this to her. This will convince her of your authority. A golden apple? That's it? This apple will speak volumes. Now go, your quest will be an arduous one, and time is of the essence if war with the boar is to be avoided. We are in your debt, your majesty. I think I'm going to minimize the recording window and play with a teeny tiny game window instead. So I was looking into the recording window all the time because it has the zoomed in version of the screen. <laughs> I can look at the flowers, so oh, let me let me smell the flowers. A beautiful scent. A lovely scent. It's nice to be able to hold like this. There it is, walk to path. So let's bring the token to her. Just forgot one. There we go. Open the gate. Complete the circle. You won't remember. You won't recall. For I am only the air that you breathe. That's from an awesome album, actually, by a band or 
by a, by a project called Arian from Arjun, Arian J. Lucasen, who is a Dutch composer. And this is, if you want to listen to it, it's um, a metal opera or rock opera, um, which most of the Arian albums are. And... Um, The Forest King sends his respects and bids us give you this golden apple as a token of authority. He said that it would have meaning for you. Indeed it does. This apple is a souvenir of a quest he went on for his king when he was but a young soldier. He was as noble a warrior as he is a king. Then you will permit us access to the sanctuary so that we may investigate the stolen orb? You may search to your heart's content. I shall open the gates. Good fortune be with you. Thank you, mistress. Well, now the gate that was locked previously is open. I think it was that way, and there we are. It appears to be a water fountain. Cute little water fountain. Let's see. So this looks like it's like a garden of sorts. And there is something here, an empty bucket. Just your average garden variety bucket. Well, golden rule of adventures. Pick up everything that you can. Even more garden. I need to get used to talking a lot, especially in English while playing. This will take... This will take me a few episodes, I think. Also, I kind of don't want to ruin this um, atmosphere that this that the soundscape creates. Wait! What? It's a footprint. Do you recognize it, Ia? It doesn't look familiar, but tracking was never my strong point. Perhaps we can find someone who can identify it. We'll have to bring him here. We certainly cannot move the mud. What should we do? We cannot move the mud. We have to bring someone here. Well, could you go out of the way? There was something else. Sour berries. I've never seen berries like this before. I wonder where they came from. We haven't seen them before, yet we know that they're called sour berries. And again, I need to walk away so I can actually pick them up. Pick up sour berries. I misclicked. These might be a valuable clue. So let's take some more looks around. I mean, I'm not looking, looking for another bucket, but I'm going to try to use bucket with bird bath nice clear water <clears throat> so the bird bath has so much water that it fills an entire bucket yep yep i know i was here before i'm just checking if i missed something especially on the other side of these ah oh, look there is something over there and i can walk through the flowers all those poor little flowers they were going to be all trampled. What's that? Fertilizer. A bag of fertilizer. For the garden, no doubt. But I don't think I want to carry this around. Let's use the cup. 
Sorry, it's empty. The fertilizer? I, I, I didn't want to pour the cup into the bag. I wanted to fill the cup with... Uh, well... Well, I dumped the water out, but it doesn't seem to have done much good. Not even to the fertilizer? Well... Okay. I'm going to refill the bucket because I know that I need it filled with water. Let's try it with that nice, fountain. Nice, clear. That fountain actually makes more sense. Okay, let's check out the next place. I would say, how about we pay a visit to the Boar King and at, at the end, or rather now, which is the last thing we do in this episode. This strikes me as being most unwise. Walking into the enemy camp and risking capture ourselves is the last thing we need. But information is the first thing we need, and this may be our only way to obtain it. I still think this is pure folly. Perhaps the elk is right. We should not disturb the Boar King. He'll be very angry. Really, Ock? Surely you have nothing to fear. You are an honored Boar warrior, specially chosen for this mission by the captain of the Boar Guard. I should think you'd be expecting a hero's welcome. Bah! This assignment is not an honor. It is... a punishment. What? A punishment? What was your offense? I was on guard duty. A great celebration was going on inside. And a fellow guard managed to slip me a tankard of ale. Then another... and another. The next thing I remember... The captain of the guard was throwing a bucket of water in my face. You got drunk and fell asleep on guard duty? It happened over a year ago. Since then, whenever a disagreeable task comes along, it's given to me. Then we will see to it that the success of this quest restores your honor. Sorry, I just had to run and take some nose spray because my nose was clogging up. I really don't want to go in there, but I suppose I'll have to. So we now have found out that Ark is actually not... Well, we know that he's not there out of his own volition, but we also found out that it's basically a punishment for him, that it's a shame that he has to do this task. Also, gotta love the music. Excuse me, we have come to see... Well, well, what have we here? If it isn't a fox and an elk. And duck. So, were you able to find your way back by yourself, or did you get lost again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Sergeant Ock, have mercy on me. Please don't make me go in front of the Boar King and plead my case. But... Please! Don't make me go into his throne room. You are so strong and I am so weak. As much as I fear you, I fear the Boar King even more. Have mercy! What are you... Please, Sergeant Ock. Do not drive us so hard. We have been walking many days to get here and are fatigued beyond words. We cannot keep up with you. Please, we must rest. Rest? You want rest? I have no time for rest. You, Fox, get to the throne room. The king will enjoy watching you grovel. Now, you two, open the gate. Go ahead, Riff. Elks are not welcome, so I must remain here to protect Ia. Oh, really? <laughs> yep, the boars and the elk don't like each other. They point that out every time. So yeah, we tricked the guards. 
and basically helped Ock with his standing a little bit. I mean, boars try to or enjoy to boss around others. We already know that very much. And now as the diskette blinks, this is, is a sign like you have reached a checkpoint and you should just save your game. I'm going to do that after I visited the king. So basically in this game you can't lose. You can't bring yourself into like a position where you can't win anymore. Come on. Your Majesty, presenting Rip of the Fox Tribe. Your Majesty, I have been falsely accused of a theft of the... I know who you are, Rip of the Fox Tribe. Please, I like to be addressed face to face. Thank you, Your Majesty. I have come to ask your indulgence. I said I like to be addressed face to face. You may address me here. But, Your Majesty. Address me here or leave. Those are your choices, Fox. Yeah, the king wants us to go into the mud bath. I think it is because he knows that everyone except Boris hate the mud. Um, I mean, Riff could have played the card something like, uh, you really want me to desecrate your royal mud bath or something like that, but yeah, well. Your Majesty, I am deeply grateful for this audience. I believe you are holding my friend Reen hostage. And I have come to ask you for her release. Hostage? We don't have any hostages here. We do, however, have a quite charming guest. Captain! Riff! Reen? Reen! Be careful! Don't let them hurt you! Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll get you out. Reen! Reen! I'll be back! <laughs> I will see that she is kept safe until either you fail or you do not return. Then I give you my word that she will suffer mightily. Now go! You have ceased to amuse me. Leave while you still have your life. But I will return to claim both my friend and my honor. And now I'm walking. Well, why aren't you leaving? Oh, uh, I am. I am. I was just saying, and now I'm walking randomly around in this pool of mud for no apparent reason. Oh, the poor fox. He's doomed. And he doesn't even know it. <laughs> well, what have you learned? Yeah, mud. How revolting. I may never get this mud out of my fur. What's this? What is it? It appears to be a ring with the crest of a wolf's head upon it. Where did you get it? It was stuck on my toe when I came out of the mud. A wolf ring. Now this is interesting. Let me sit closer to the screen. What an odd design. The head of a wolf. So could it be that someone, some certain boar, has made arrangements with a wolf? And that maybe that wolf has stolen the orb for the boar king, for the mud baths? Well, we won't find out until the next episode, and like last time, the amount of days it will take until the next episode comes out will be determined by the roll of 1d20. So, until next time, bye bye!